In today's video, we'll be diving into how to use TensorFlow with Java. TensorFlow has been a popular framework in the machine learning community, but did you know it also supports Java? Java is a widely used language in enterprise applications, so this combination can be powerful for developers integrating machine learning models into production. We'll go through the step-by-step -step process of getting started with TensorFlow in Java, highlight key tips and best practices, and address common challenges you may encounter. Let's get started! To start, you'll need to set up TensorFlow Java API in your project, whether you're using Maven or Gradle. Adding the TensorFlow Java dependency is straightforward. If you're using Maven, add the following to your pom.xlm. For Gradle, add the following line to your build.gradle file. This dependency allows you to work with TensorFlow in your Java projects. Before you start coding, make sure you have the Java development kit installed on your machine. TensorFlow for Java supports JDK versions 8 and above, but it's recommended to use JDK 11 for better compatibility and performance. You can verify your JDK version with this. The TensorFlow Java API allows you to load pre-trained models that have been saved in the .pb or save model format. Here's how you can load a TensorFlow model. Save model bundle .load will load a saved TensorFlow model. The runner method executes the model's session. Feed provides the input tensor and fetch requires the output tensor. Finally, run executes the operation and retrieves the result. Once your model is loaded, you can run predictions on new data. You need to prepare the input data as a tensor, pass it through the model and collect the output. Here's an example where the model predicts based on your input tensor. TensorFlow sessions manage system resources like memory. It's important to close them to avoid memory leaks. You can do this by running this code. Instead of training models from scratch in Java, which can be time consuming and resource intensive, you can easily load pre-trained TensorFlow models using the saved model bundle. Always ensure that you release resources, such as tensors, after use by calling tensor.close. TensorFlow Java does not automatically garbage collection for tensors, so manually managing memory is essential for preventing memory leaks. Load the model once and reuse it in multiple applications if you plan to use multiple times for predictions, instead of reloading it each time. If you forget to close your tensors, you can easily get the out of memory error. Always remember to close any tensor objects after you're done with them. Incompatibility, incompatibility between TensorFlow model versions and TensorFlow Java API can lead to runtime errors, so always check the TensorFlow model version compatibility with the TensorFlow Java version you're using. And running large models in production can slow down performance. Consider using TensorFlow Lite for optimized interface on smaller devices or environments with limited resources. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials.